All right, I think we're all set to publish or share this real-time GIS project with the rest of the world. Uh, the very first step here is I need to sign in to ArcGIS Online. I'm going to do that by clicking File, Sign In. I'll enter my username and my password and then click uh, sign in. I'm, in my case, I'm actually going to also turn on Sign Me In automatically. If you're using ArcGIS uh, Online quite a bit, that's a good idea. And the next step is I'm going to proceed to sharing my data. So I'm going to share as a web service. I'm going to publish a service. So I'll click Next. and the connection or the place that I'm going to publish it is not on my local production server but rather my hosted services. Uh, our hosted services here at uh, the GIS Center at ISU is called GISU. Uh, yours is likely going to be called something different. The service name I will leave the same. It's Real Time GIS. and I'll click continue. Now I'm going to fill out my service editor or review my service editor uh, looking at these uh, items or these sections one at a time starting from top to bottom. Capabilities, I'm going to turn on feature access and turn off tiled mapping. Now I just did that in a specific order. I turned on feature access before I turned off tiled mapping. If you do it in the opposite order, it's okay, but you'll probably get an error that says, hey, you have to have some sort of capability turned on. Uh, so I always do it in this, uh, in this order here where I turn another one on before I turn the other one off. Now I'm going to look at my feature access a little bit more closely, and this is uh, pretty important. We want to allow certain operations, and in this case, uh, I want to allow the user with their mobile device to, to create features. I'll also allow them to delete features um, and to make updates to their features. Now I'm going to go to item description and notice um, these descriptions were automatically populated for me based on uh, what I typed in previously for my map document properties. And that's just really handy to do that first uh, under your map document properties before you share it. That way if I have to go back and uh, share this again or update or overwrite something, um, it's always going to read from the map document properties. The only thing that's not automatically updated or entered for you is this access and use constraints. And in this case I'll say there are none, there are no access or use constraints. Um, now I'm going to analyze and it says it has a couple of problems. Uh, the, the, the problems that it found are first of all there's zero errors, two warnings. Uh, warnings are you know moderate severity. You could really publish it with these things in here without any problems uh, and there are two messages. Uh, the first is um, we'll look here at the messages which are just kind of for your information and it says that the layer draws at all scale ranges. Um, if I want to make changes to that, I can do that really easily. I'm going to the layers properties and then to the general tab and I will change this to say that the layer uh, will not show when I'm zoomed out beyond, oh, let's say something like 1 to uh, 10 million. Uh, and in beyond, well, I'm not going to turn that off. If I zoom in right on top of a restaurant, a restaurant point, I, I, want, I still want that to show. So that's fine. Now I'm going to reanalyze. And notice uh, that I lost that error message about the uh, scale thresholds. Now I'm going to work up this list here. The next one says map is being published with data copied to the server using data frame 
full extent. I'm going to show you how to uh, take care of this error. Again, this is an error that you could say, that's okay, I'm going to live with it. Uh, but if it uh, is problematic for you, or you just want to get rid of this thing, here's how we do it. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here and I'm going to add a base map. I, can't, I do not have any points, restaurant points, in my feature class yet. Um, so I can't, there really is no spatial extent to the restaurant's layer. I'm going to give it a spatial extent by bringing in a base, la uh, base map layer. So I'm going to bring in the topographic uh, base map layer from Esri's uh, services. I'm going to give that a minute here to draw. Now I'm going to zoom in to, uh, in this case, Pocatello, Idaho, where this uh, restaurant's real-time GIS um, project is going to be deployed. And there we go. We're getting close. There's Pocatello. And I think I'll go ahead and zoom in one more time. There we go. That's good. Now, I'm going to go to the layers property, or specifically, the, I should say, the data frame property, which is the data frame happens to be called layers. Uh, and I'm going to uh, set this, uh, this extent. So the extent that I'm going to utilize will be a specific extent and it'll be the currently visible extent. I'll apply this. I'll click OK. And now I'm going to reanalyze this. Okay, notice that I got rid of that error, but I picked up another one, and I knew I was going to pick up this error. And this new error is that base map layers cannot be published directly to a service. Uh, and that makes great sense. We do not want to publish a service as a part of another service. That is going to uh, really affect performance. So I, I brought in this base map layer just to give my project a spatial context. Now that I've done that, I can go ahead uh, over here to my base map layer, right click it, and simply say remove. And now if I uh, analyze this once again, I'll, you'll see that I have uh, only one error left and that is that layers uh, this layer does not have a feature template set. I can fix that as well. A feature template set tells ArcGIS that when uh, this feature class or this layer is being edited uh, that there's certain um, symbology that's normally being used or uh, those sorts of things. Kind of can set up some uh, GIS manager type of quality assurance, quality control measures. So the easiest way to create a feature template set is I'm going to start up editing mode. And then over here on the Create Features tab, okay, I'm going to create, there we go, I'm just going to click Restaurants, Family Style, fast food, other, and when I do this, Arc is creating for me, or ArcGIS is creating for me a default feature template set. That's all it's doing, that's all I had to do to get rid of it. Again, I didn't really have to do any of these things, they were simply warnings, um, but uh, I wanted to uh, get rid of these things now because very likely I, I will be doing some editing uh, with this in the future right off of ArcMap uh, desktop. So. Um, I'm going to now stop editing.
I'm not going to make any saves. There's nothing really has been edited. And now if I analyze, you'll see I have no errors remaining. Lastly, I'll click Publish. And remember, this is publishing to ArcGIS Online. 